I'd like to welcome 2024 Billiard Congress of America Hall of Famer, Shane Van Boning. Shane, how you doing? Good. I'm good. Good. Last time we spoke to you, you were on a boat. This time, are you in a camper? Where are you, where are you at this time? I'm actually in my car. I'm just getting ready to go eat breakfast. So. Okay. So, you know, your career, everybody knows about it. The World Championships, the five U.S. Opens, two-time World Pool Masters champion, um, you know, four-time U.S. Open 10-ball champion or five-time U.S. Open 10-ball champion, all those accolades. So it was a foregone conclusion that as soon as you were eligible, you were going to be into the Hall of Fame. And you knew that. But, you know, did it feel any differently once it became official? Um, I mean, uh, I, I got a little emotional about it. You know, you think about all the times that you play professional pool and how you started playing pool. And you think about the time that I grew up playing pool with my family. Um, you know, it's just a little emotional on the side. And, you know, um, that's what BCA Hall of Fame is all about is, you know, thinking about all the times that you play pool in the past. Yeah. So, well, you know, um, obviously, yeah, you, you think about all the practice hours, thousands and thousands of practice hours and days in the pool room and all the tournaments and all the events that you won. Um, you know, when you when you do stop for a second and look back at that, does it make your head spin? Do you think, geez, that's that's really a lot of pool? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of pool. I mean, you're thinking about all the action that you played, um, that I played, and then, <laughs> you know, just thinking about the, you know the best moments that you played in your whole career. It's, yeah. it's gets a little emotional. So. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, you talk about the you know the great moments in your career. Give me your top three. What are your top three accomplishments? Top three, I'm going to have to say first would be the World Pool Championship in 2022. Right. And then, and then number two would be the World Eight Ball last year. And, um, and then number three would be, I'm going to have to say running three years in a row, winning U.S. Open. Yeah, that's that's big. Where does 2018 one you know one nine combination on the uh the nine ball how does that stack up in the in the list probably top five i would say <laughs> <laughs> so you know you'll be going into hall of fame uh the night before moscone cup starts and you'll be going in with mark griffin and and i bring that up because he was a very good friend of yours uh you know, he ran all the U.S. Open 10 ball, U.S. Open 8 ball, U.S. Open one pocket, anything that had U.S. Open on it, Shane Van Boning won. Uh, so what do, you, what do you think about, you know, being uh, inducted the same time as Mark? Well, talking about Mark Griffin, you know, he, you know, I got to know him personally. And he's, I got to say, he's one hell of a guy. He had a lot of passionate pool. And um, I can just tell you a short, short story that, uh, I run by him. When I first met him, um, I was playing in a bar. There was actually a pool tournament in a bar in Phoenix, Arizona. And I actually got to know him since that day. And I was, I believe I was 23 at the time, or 24. And um, I walked up to him and talked to him for a little bit. And then he said that he wanted to give me a spot into the PCA EnjoyPool.com pool right. tournament in Vegas. 2007. And that was, uh, 2007 and um that was going to be on espn so this is actually the first tournament that i made it to the finals on espn and dennis tocolo beat me i believe it was seven nothing or seven to one seven to nothing <laughs> sorry seven <to> nothing <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then ever since that day I started winning every tournament from there on. I won the international 10 ball in Florida. I went back to Vegas, got final of the game for another tournament and won. And then the um, U.S. A, Open that yeah, year. That was your first U.S. Open was 2007 as well, right? Second year. Second yeah. year playing. Yeah. And then I, I won the U.S. Open. And then I went to Reno and won the Reno Open. So I was on the roll ever since that day and then I, I kind of believe that 
if Mark didn't give me the spot in the BCA pool tournament, I wouldn't have uh, accomplished that many tournaments just that year. Yeah. So that's really cool. That's really cool. And then me and Mark became good friends from there. So. Yeah. Now you've been to a number of BCA Hall of Fame banquets. Have you ever looked up there and visualized yourself standing up on the podium and speaking? Yeah, I knew that, that day was going to come. And, you know, it's just a matter of when. When is that day going to come? So um, It's going to be November 29th, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll be ready and we'll be looking forward to it. There'll be a ton of people in the room and uh, a ton of people rooting for you. So... Thanks very much for joining us, Shane. Good luck at the upcoming World Pool Championship, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Thank you very much.